Paul, even my enemies pray. And I wrote this after watching The Beast of No Nation, which is about child soldiers in Africa. And um, in one small clip of that movie, it really touched me because they were going to go into a village and they were going to plunder the village. But yet they all went down on one knee and they said a prayer before they did this atrocious act. Oh. And um, so I wrote this because, you know, if we are all praying for something, our enemies are also praying for something. So who, who decides the victory, right? Enemies pray. How do we keep the faith? Even our enemies pray. Does God listen to me? Does he hear what I say? Even our enemies pray. Keeping the faith, hope it's not too late to be redeemed, although it seems hopeless. To be forgiven, to be given grace, is this possible? As bullets tear through skin, as the walls crumble in, bones and hearts now destroyed like a deck of, like a deck of cards, children's toys. The guilty ones now belong to an innocent yesterday, but they found a way, a way to corrupt, to disrupt the peace. The battle came to me. As a war raged on, both on the outside and the inside, no place where we can squawk like a man like you understand. Why bullets fly all day and night? Why there is no such thing as a good night, only a good fight. Oh, wow.